the next thing we want to do like i said in our last video is we want to implement the delete function uh, because we need to use it here so i noticed something here uh, i think we don't need to return this here uh, we can leave it this way because we would always come here and return this and and also i think since final is going to always run uh, we can return after we close this file so the only time this will become true is after is if we get to this point and then we just return uh, that statement which is true here so yeah i think this is better rather than having multiple return in uh, the same code so like i said and finally this would always run everything inside finally would always run so there's no point in um, doing anything else outside of finally anyway moving on so to delete a file we need to import something here uh, it's called os import os so os is what is going to allow us to delete a file let's see how we can do that where is the delete function so delete function find user with the so we need to check so we are collecting we are receiving account number now we need to check if that file or that user exists in the system before we attempt to delete it so if um os dot path uh, i think but exist okay so we are trying to check if the uh, user exists in the database and actually i think i can do something better here by defining a um user db path here let's use like yeah that should be fine and i can say user db part is data user record so instead of doing this i can have user db part and that will always also be available for this guy here so user db part so right now it's i mean it makes more more sense than having to type that same thing over and over again so we are looking for this user oh <laughs> Uh, this should not be a string it's a variable that we are passing and we need to convert it to string remember because it is going to be an integer right now and our next stop is to concatenate it with the extension of that file so dot txt that is also very important and this should be a plus uh php <laughs> php uses uh period as concatenation so that was the mistake you saw there but that should be a plus so what we are doing is we are checking if this file exists if it does then we can proceed to delete it so we can do os i think that is remove yeah it's remove uh yeah that should be remove or delete no that's not delete so it's remove uh yeah remove so we'll just do uh we'll do user db path and then the name of the file we want to remove we don't make the mistake of deleting your i mean this will not delete your entire folder but i don't try don't make the mistake of deleting your entire folder um so we're trying to remove the user account um plus txt so we're trying to remove this from um, the database but we need to add a try i think we need to add a try block here um so in case that fails then we can do except i don't know what the error is going to be so i think i should probably try that first i mean rather than doing this check too we could just use a try block but it's also fine to go ahead and do that um, i think both should work properly so let's take this out and try to delete a file that doesn't exist and see what error we get back uh, so I'm going to just run this code here under here delete and pass across obvious obvious file that doesn't exist and uh, what should happen I'm going to take this out and just watch out for the error I get here once I run this code so this needs to move back and this needs to move up all right so let's run the code and see what we get um, terminate this command C control C clear that and then run Python um python database.py okay my spelling is wrong um p y t h and i get uh it says user record deleted uh even though it's not deleted so i need to take that out 
and the error is file not found error which i mean <laughs> uh, that kind of makes sense i don't know why i didn't think of that so try <laughs> of course file not found error is what i'm supposed to get so except file not found and i wonder why that is funny to me um so except file not found so if file is not found say user not found so it kind of seems like this is now redundant um because we are already basically doing that here um so if file is found go ahead and delete it if it is not found say it is not found so i'm going to i, I mean i will leave it there you can decide to remove it i don't know why i'm leaving it there but uh, it might be a useful resource for you while you're building your own thing so uh what else do we need to do we need to return true once that is successful otherwise return false so i'm, I'm going to be using a variable again because i think that's easier is delete successful I, I think i would have a few typo just ignore them because i don't want to take too much time working on this thing i know it will be a lot of time for you watching it and it might not be the same for me uh while reading it so it's i'm trying to be as fast as possible so you don't have to take too much time watching me struggle with um, typing correct english all right so i i always forget to enter presentation mode sorry about that i'm so sorry about that um so i think no i'm in the wrong place right so this is our delete function now i'm checking if the delete is successful and um yeah so let's just do this in a final block and just return this All right um so i think we need to now set our is the list successful to true here true there and then uh, this would always be false and then if it is false then it's false here all right so that is how we delete a file from the database uh so what we can also do if i mean if need be uh yeah okay that makes sense so what we can also do which is what i said here is to use that function to delete that file uh, so we'll just call the delete and pass the account number there so did i remember to convert that to a string um i did here okay so no need to convert it here again so i'll just go ahead and delete that particular file if it already exists now again this is probably a bad practice if a user already exists you shouldn't go ahead and delete them because you want to create a new user i just want to avoid any kind of errors so if the user already exists uh, prob probably because um this failed for whatever reason or i should i should probably check the contents of the file before deleting it so again let's add that um so delete so this is going to be a pending thing let's not delete it just yet so check check content of file before deleting so if the if the file actually contains user data then we don't delete we just we just say user already exists and move on and that means this is not going to be here it's going to be inside if user already exists if the file does not contain user data however we just delete that that means something happened during this method here during this process here and didn't complete uh so that's what we are going to be doing but we can't check that yet until we finish our uh, either find or read uh, so let's take this out so until we finish either find or read we can't really uh, work on work on this uh, aspect yet so again let's just have it here as a to do we'll come back to it and finish it up uh, so let's try to delete a file using the method we the the function we just created so exit presentation mode i'm going to open my site but i'll just copy the name for one of these files uh, let's call it delete and type out the name of the file three three seven two two nine one two five seven so that's the account number and the user that i want to delete uh, let's open this up and do a clear and then run python um, database dot py and that should have been deleted i don't know if let's see what happens once i um 
superior 37 to I don't think that worked uh, so let's see if I can okay let's print out whatever gets returned and see what error we are getting all right none um, I mean I don't know what none means here okay I'm going to try one more time uh, I wonder what none means here so seven seven five one four three eight nine eight nine two zero all right let's try this okay I'm still getting the same error let's just do very weird debugging here and print out a bunch of uh, point one point one see what happens if we get here that's point two and try if we get here point three and see if we actually get to the accept I don't think we did though uh, point four I don't think we got there and then do a point five all right so I'll um, save that and run the code again point one it actually stopped right here uh, it did not get here because it could not find the file we are looking for all right that makes sense so let's print out user db path and see if that's the problem print user db path see if that's the problem i'll run this again okay that actually gets printed out which is good so let's print out this entire thing so let's print out this entire thing i'll run the code again and that gets oh right this is the problem i'm glad we found it finally so i need to go back up and add forward slash there and then i can delete all this my fake debugging method so um i mean this is not <laughs> the right way to debug by the way there are debug tools here that we've not really talked about so uh, there are better ways to debug rather than doing what i just did but this also works i mean as long as you are able to find the problem so let's clear this and try that again uh, i forgot to clear out 0.5 so I'll clear this and try to run the code again and it says true i believe that means the file has been deleted um i mean hopefully it has been deleted yes it has been deleted so delete now works that's good for us uh the next thing we need to implement yeah delete works i don't think i need to test it twice because i don't want to delete more than one i need to i need to use the rest to test also so the next thing we need to implement is how to read um the contents of our database so we'll go into this folder select one of these guys using their um using this and then print out the contents of that particular fa 